Have you ever wondered? Is a series I haven't made a video on in a while. But hey, it's back. And we're ready to get into some more topics. But for those of you who are new here, first of all, let me say hi. Nice to meet you. My name is Red. And this series is about questioning the lore of games that no one would ever talk about or bring up. Maybe you have, but we try to bring light to that topic and maybe even try to find an answer to it. As you may know by the title, we'll be covering some topics from Animal Crossing, but I have also been covering quite a few things in Splatoon, and one time I did do a mystery of uh, Donkey Kong's teeth. So if you ever want to go check them out, make sure to click that little eye on the top right corner. Just make sure to watch this video first. But without further ado, have you ever wondered, where do balloon presents come from? These things just seem to appear out of nowhere without any explanation, and, well, what do we do? We just pop them, take the loot, and end a story. But why is that the case? Who or what is wrapping up random items and sending them out with a balloon? Well, we don't know. And unlike bottle messages which have letters from the sender, balloon presents do not. If anything, balloon presents could just be villagers from other islands sending out an item they don't need anymore, and it's just one big cycle of mystery gifts from an island to another island. But who would be willing to give away 30,000 bells in hopes that someday someone will pop it instead of ignoring it, or even accidentally popping it into a river? And come to think of it, what happens to balloons that don't get popped? Are they just doomed to float around endlessly until they run out of helium only to fall into the ocean, thus polluting it with a bunch of plastic and junk? Huh. Well then. Hey, if anything, make sure if you ever see a balloon to pop it, because if you don't, it'll probably just continue to litter the ocean. And make sure to recycle, because that's good too. And you know, with the upcoming summer update, it does bring back the diving feature, so what are the chances that we may be able to find a deflated balloon and some soggy presence at the bottom of the ocean? And what if pirate form Gulliver is actually looking for sunken treasure out at sea? But that sunken treasure is actually a bunch of balloons! Well, balloon presents, but you know what I mean. Hey, if anything, I guess we'll have to wait and see until the summer update. Oh yeah, and another thing to think about is who is specifically sending out golden balloons with the golden slingshot as a present? Is this the same cycle of sending out presents via balloon travel, or is someone watching your every move, and once they see you've popped 300 balloons, they reward you with the golden slingshot? Is Tom Nook behind all of this? Does he secretly have a bunch of cameras hidden around your island? I don't know, probably not. I don't think Tom Nook would do that, he's a, he's a good raccoon boy. I'm sure he'd never do such a thing. But in the end, when it comes to figuring out who or what is sending out balloon presents, I guess we'll never really know. It could be villagers in other places sending away things they don't need anymore. Or it could even just be a sea monster that burps them out. But hold on. If a sea creature burps out presents, can you imagine what comes out the other end? Well, if anything, that's probably a topic for another time, but hey. At least you now have an idea of what have you ever wondered is. We make more questions than solve them. But now, let's move on to the last topic. Have you ever wondered, what does Tom Nook do with all the things we sell to him? Alright, so I know when it comes to selling items, we sell things to Timmy and Tommy at the Nook's Cranny. But just for the sake of juggling around names, we'll just go with Tom Nook, considering he basically owns it. But anyways, let's get back to business. What does Tom Nook do with everything we sell him? Well, if you think about it, I feel like Tom Nook could do a bunch of things with the items, and the first thing I have in mind is he could use the items we sell him and refurbish them to put them back on sale at Nook's Cranny. And with the materials we also sell him, he could easily just craft them into some kind of fancy furniture to also sell. Then when it comes to the fish and bugs we sell him, he could easily just put them back in the wild, only for us to eventually find them again. Or maybe he just eats them? I'm not entirely sure what a bipedal raccoon's diet is. That could also be a topic for another time. Oh man, all I know is that it sure must be a horrifying experience to wake up in the morning and find your crate is filled with tarantulas and scorpions. Man, poor Timmy and Tommy, we've really been traumatizing them since day one, haven't we? 
But finally, with the fossils we sell to Tom Nook, he could easily just bury them back for us only to find it over and over and over again, which explains why you're probably still missing three fossils to complete the museum. So basically, all of this is just a cycle. We sell our items at Nook's Cranny, and then we get our bells. After that, Tom Nook fixes up some items, he puts them back for sale, or if it's fish bugs and maybe fossils, he puts them back in nature. We then pay off our house and continue to purchase things at Nook's Cranny, and then after that, Tom Nook gets his money back, and the cycle, it just continues. Circle of life. And I know I forgot to mention sold clothes and all this, but what Tom Nook could easily do is just give it to the Able sisters, considering he's good friends with Sable. And bam, just like that, this could be one thing that Tom Nook does with all the things we sell him. But a second thing that he could do, if he doesn't refurbish, resell, and resupply, he could just keep it all in his storage. There could even be a chance everything we've ever sold to Tom Nook is in the upstairs room of Nook's Cranny. We've never been up there, so I don't think we'll ever know what Tom Nook has stored upstairs. It could easily just be everything we've ever sold to him and other items he's probably going to put up to sale. But maybe, just maybe, it could even be a rocket he's building with all the things we've sold him to go into space. Thus, giving him an opportunity to make a moon colony and making the next installment of Animal Crossing, hear me out, Animal Crossing in space. Yeah, I know the title isn't too creative, but you know, it, it's it's still patent pending. It's okay, don't worry. Uh, I'll bring this up to Nintendo someday. But you know, the possibility of Tom Nook going to space to expand his business doesn't seem too unlikely. I mean, look at Reese and Cyrus. They spent years buying bugs from us, and now they have the money to rent out an entire studio for a whole month. So I feel like Tom Nook can totally afford expanding his business on the moon. But if that sounds a little bit too convoluted for you, Tom Nook could probably just wrap up random things he can't sell or doesn't need anymore, and maybe sometimes throw in 30,000 bells in there, buy a bunch of balloons in bulk, wrap it up all together, and there you go. Tom Nook is the one behind the balloon presents. But will we ever know if that's the truth? Who knows? One thing I do know, though, is that if you have anything to add or want to discuss about these topics, why not go leave a comment down below? And hey, if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. And, you know, maybe hit that little bell icon to get notified whenever we go live or make another video. Follow us on Twitter to stay updated. I'll, I promise I'll be a little bit more active. And if there's anyone who wants to take the extra step and become a channel member by clicking that little join button, you will also get a bonus topic for this Have You Ever Wondered. So, if I've piqued your interest, why not become a channel member? If you're not convinced, that's completely alright, don't worry about it. Just know that you will never know what the bonus topic is. But well, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, make sure to discuss down below, and I'll see you guys in the next Have You Ever Wondered. Or other video we make, who knows, we'll see. Alright, I'm out. Peace.